game and carry on playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, what was BD? Brother Bart. We're going to talk to the stranger. We're going to brought to talk to Brother Duck, and then we'll talk to Dutch. Hello. Hello, Mister. How's it going? Sorry, can't put my finger on it. Uh, okay. He didn't want to be polite to me. What am I? Hello. Hello. How are you today? Shut up. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute Hello. of your time? Bonjour. Bonjour. Nice to see you again, sir. Do I know you? Did you change your mind about donating by any chance? We could really Bonjour, use your monsieur. support to improve the lives of our veterans and their families. I don't remember ever talking to you before. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What Not is your name, me, sir? Mate. Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Hello. Very nice. Why did I see MB? Oh. It was that fucking twat all the way over there. Who well, I'm not gonna do. <laughs> Hurry up. Come on. Good evening to you. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh! They ain't them tricks that wrote me, are they? Brother Dorking told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. You've got hey, robbed. stop! He's kids that are worse! Don't hurt him, please! Oh, I hate running after these kids. We'll be out to get oh, no, my mother gave me that when I was a girl. She's got a very strange accent. <laughs> You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Yeah, hey, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Thank Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with hey, my... Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. Yeah, get fucked. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Don't you dare run off. Thanks, mister. Oh. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. No. You sure? Hey. Oh my god! I know you. This is Downs? Oh no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now! I mean, oh hey, my hey, god! Help. help! Hold on! This man is bothering now. me! Someone help me! Officer! Help! <sighs> Shit. What am I wanted for? I haven't disturbed the peace. Challenges used to frustrate me. Hello. I found your crucifix, my friend. Me, Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy. He's fine physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. 
Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister. Uncomfortable. Enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkin's phone. I told you. Wow, lots of new missions. Loads of new missions. I think they're all miles away. LS. Oh no, that's not new. Well, well, I forgot about me. Is there a hotel? Where is it? There it is. Hello. There you are. Your boy Hello. Zay? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This is the place? Well, I haven't <coughs> done a lot of missions. Must be. You okay, John? I guess. You could have cut your hair, John. You look rough as fuck. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <coughs> You get your Not boss your down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. <gasps> Run along now, boy. Uh-oh. People are coming out. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Yeah, but... My horse is nearby for a reason. He's got a gun. Oh, shit. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Got a big old shotgun. Nathan. Sono like Willem Dafoe. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? I've had you a ask bath. me to show and compassion. I've had my hand have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Wow, he's up his own ass. Indeed, you have. Now. We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are oh, better clever. than everyone else. Yes. Diodoro. <laughs> that is a very steep woman here. Angelo oh, Bronte. Now. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. 
But... Where is it? Uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. I don't trust you. What is it? A couple of people have taken to a grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, huh? why don't you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Uh, Salute. Yeah, ciao, ciao. <sighs> Looks like we are going to be killing. Come on, John. All we can do is trust him at this point. All right, let's go. How do you know where to go? You've only just come to town. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. Oh, okay. It's really <laughs> pole covered. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen. Hmm. We found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. No, you I really haven't. He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Ransom for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. So he's Let's get just money out of us. get this done. The Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Ah, you okay. Idiot. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. Stops in the middle of the road. Can I hitch it here? What are you doing? I, I didn't mean to do that. Yep. Fine, whatever. Bring the horse just in case. This way. So I've got my good gun on me. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Keep looking. That's you. to drink. Your friend died. Sorry, mate. They can hear us, you know. 
They're still with us. You should get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. I'll check this way. I saw rats coming from this way. Once we get the board. Sounds like someone opened a tomb. Are we going into a mausoleum? Get in cover. I hear something in there. In the mausoleum. Wonderful. You boys know my pappy's watching! Damn! How many you see? Three? Four? Hard to tell. You should have paid Mr. Bronte. Someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. In the mausoleum. Think there might be something in here.
Who got shot? Sounds like John got shot. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I did that badly. I deserve death. Damn, the laws hit. Try. Ow. Ow. Try again. Here. And actually do what John suggests this time. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Righto, hurry up. Come on. We best stick to the side. Do -do -do. This done. Right. Well, come on, Arthur. Well, <laughs> did get the same way you wanted to say. Well, you took your time. Jack, it's where's your work? host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. Oh. You're a fine man. Hey, son. Uh, thank Mr. Bronte. 
right? for everything. He looks very rough. Come on. Let's not you know start doing missions for this guy. Mr. Like, Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. No, let's not do that. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's not do that because you know it's going to go bad. Let's go. <sighs> we have a new camp set up, Jack. You're going to love it. Oh, All right, no. let's get this boy back to his mother. Oh, good, because I've got sure these cranes okay, that are going to go off. I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm, are we going to hear something we don't want to hear? sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Told. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. Best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure Aww. did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, yeah, but you are so you easily deceived. A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been no. a chaotic few days. Let's but we not can do that. Move forward now. We always get, get the money shit on. we need and disappear. Anyway, we got Jack. Ah, hey, they're back. <laughs> I think I see Jack. Have a good one. Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! What the hell is he wearing? They said he's good. Italian. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? You're no sort of father, Can too. Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I'm... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Didn't expect much of that. Whoa, that isn't it? He's back, all right. Hey, make some room for John there. Hey, hey, how about a song? Huh? How are you? Javier, play us away. 
You all right, Joe? Yeah, just taking it all in. Joe is good to have a kid back. Okay, well, let's talk more later. You be good. Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. You not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. Am I sleeping upstairs or down? Not in the mood for a piss up, I'm afraid. Seeing as our mate just died. I'm low on. Oh, don't do that. Was this us? Have I read the fucking letter? Thank you. Great, now the cranes are dead because they wouldn't let me donate them. My dear Arthur. Oh! I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Leave me alive. Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Just Hotel Brand him. in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you. But I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you. Even though I am ashamed to do so. Are you not? Yours, Mary. This woman. Bonus bank robbery, yeah. Wouldn't let me doing that anymore. Alright then. Do you want to do Arthur. a bank heist? Charles? Yeah, let's do it. You busy? No. Why? Never too busy for plans. you, darling. Oh, what do you gotta ask him for, Charles? Me? He's just gonna make a big drama out of it. You know he will. Drama out of what? <laughs> Only the easiest little bank score ever got taken. Well, I don't like robbing banks now. You like complaining and whining. We never robbed that bank in Rhodes. Arthur's good. He's the best man we got. And this is easy. But he complains a lot. <sighs> what is it? Turns out there's a big weakness in the building. They replaced a window to improve security. But the bricks are real weak. So? <laughs> the vault's right behind. 
The fellow sold me the plans, told me all about it. It's an open secret in town. Due to be fixed any day, apparently. And we got enough explosives? I don't think so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Come on! Come on! Uh, just no wine in there, Arthur Morgan. Oh, shut oh, up. Oh, shut up. I'll make you wine. Oh, give me this. God, he's so red from drinking. I don't trust Uncle, though. He's old and unreliable. I hear you. It's been a while since I robbed the bank. I'm looking forward to this. Have you ever robbed the bank? Over my back? Of course I have. And what about that one up near Canada with you and Bill a couple of years ago? You was the lookout, and not a very good one, if I remember right. Can you believe this, Charles? I'm staying out of it. Try not to get us trapped in a burning barn this time, Uncle. And you try not to kill half the town over some imaginary gold. That wasn't our <laughs> idea. He has a point there. Yeah! Easy now. Probably best we approach the bank from the back. Don't need nobody recognizing us. I agree. It's this way. No one's gonna recognize me because I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna put this on. <laughs> but there's anyone left alive that I care about being able Coming to actually through. fight them. Yep. Let's cut through here. Hold. Why are we slowing down so much? We're miles away. Ooh. Yeah. And you just go through that tree, you fucking. God idiot. damn it! Careful. No, you be careful, dickhead. There's the bank. Do you want my horse to go? Just there. Why did you take it. the thing down when I just put it up? Yeah. This way. Let's rest here till dark. Oh, I just slept it till lunchtime. What kind of bank robbery? Good night. It's time. Let's go. All right. Wake up, beautiful. What, already? Yes, come on. Going on. That boy over there, he's a guard for sure. No shit. Uh, I'll go deal with him. Silently, please. Of course. Let's see what we got in here. Check the 
those other bolts. Yes, hurry up. We ain't got it off. Come on. Get that money. Keep riding. Where are we going? Back to the house? Oh. Head for camp. Make sure there's no one tailing us. American badger. I'm an acquired taste on account of my complexity, but everyone learns to love me in the end. Uh huh. I'll take your word for it. That's a weird looking badger. Oh no. Oh yeah. What the hell's wrong with its face? 
I'll, I'll show you a picture of an English badger. They look much cuter. <laughs> Well, they are loved in our country, despite giving all the cows TV. <laughs> but that's more the farmer's fault for not actually inoculating the cows. Because it's hey, expensive. What? See? Easy. Real easy. How'd we do? We did okay, I think. Here. And thank you, boys. That was fun. Now, don't forget to give the camp its share, Uncle. Oh, as if I would. As if. Now, split up, both of you. Let's get moving. Why would you need to split up when literally by the house? Yeah! Uncle, you got that bandana, Uncle, something smell? So I literally just finished the mission. It's me, Earth. You're back. You're back. We're always so shocked that you're back. What are you doing now? Get back on. Shut up. Our mission's over, dickhead. We're gonna have Badger in our stew tonight. All right. Let me see. Thank you, Arthur. All right. Oh, he's drunk. Right. Until next time. Ooh, thanks so much for tuning in. We got the boy back. Bye.